Okay, you guys, so the ingredients that you're going to need for the French toast are um, your cooking spray, of course, eggs, bread, and I normally like to use brioche bread, but um, I did not get that this time. I forgot when I put it on the list, and we just picked up regular um, white bread, but it's just as good, it's fine. And then you're going to need cinnamon. Um, I'm all out of cinnamon, but this allspice is perfect for it. And um, you're gonna need some vanilla flavor. So what we're going to need for our fluffy eggs, we're going to need, of course, our eggs, lemon juice. I use lemon juice in mine to keep them from turning green. And um, I put a little turmeric in mine. It gives it a nice flavor, but even more so, I put it in for the healthy um, benefits and, and that turmeric gives. I use a little black pepper, some milk, or you can use heavy um, cream or um, half and half, whatever you want to use, and then your choice of cheese, and this is what we picked up, and so we're going to get started. I also just want to point out that um, I normally, um, well actually what I'm using now is butter, and uh, but I just pointed out that you can use baking spray. I have several different baking sprays, but I most of the time reach for the butter. That's just me. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and get started. Um, I have the butter heating, I'll show you guys, I have the butter heating in the pan, alright, and then we're gonna get started with putting together our mix. All right, okay, so I'm gonna start with, I'm gonna try to measure you guys, cause I never measure. <laughs> All right, so that's one capful. All right, I did two capfuls of vanilla. You can do less than that if you want a, um, don't want a stronger vanilla taste but we we want a little bit stronger stronger vanilla taste flavor to it so um yeah I just did two capfuls then I'm going to do hmm that was maybe a fourth uh, or maybe a half a teaspoon I turned my head when I did it that's bad isn't it guys I'm looking back at something else and when I poured it in what paying attention I, I got you guys next time or either I'll just try to figure it out and I'll put it in the description box how about that <laughs> all right so um you can add some maybe I think I will add just a little bit of milk to this right here I'm just gonna add maybe um that was a maybe a teaspoon right there Okay, so that was a teaspoon of milk. And let's see, that's looking good. I think I wanna add a little bit more um, of the allspice. Let's see. Okay, I would say that's a fourth of a teaspoon. All right, so also don't forget your um your of course your syrup if you prefer syrup some people don't um and also your powdered sugar to sprinkle on top for the garnishment all right so let's come on to the stove all right so we're going to start dipping our bread mixture i'm going to put some paper towel down because i don't want to make a mess I don't like um, the egg mixture mess. And then y'all know how eggs do. Oh my gosh. So we're gonna go ahead and dip our bread in here. We want to take it nice and soaked. Um, this bread is very soft. So I'm being extra gentle with it. Let me bring this because I don't want egg drip everywhere. And just go ahead and put it in there. I have my pan on medium, my um, heat on medium. And 
Um, I just started out like that because I don't want them to cook too fast. But you can definitely go up to like a six or maybe a seven. I, I just don't like mine to cook fast. And there we have it. And so you can go ahead and put your other bread in there. The more it soaks up, the better. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and cook these for a few minutes. And if you want to, you, you can sprinkle some more cinnamon. If you want to, you'll see how much cinnamon it soaks up when you put it in the pan. So right here, I'm probably gonna totally sprinkle some more, um, I mean, all spice on it. Okay, so for our eggs, um, we're gonna go ahead and get started. I've already put in the milk. Then I'm going to add the lemon juice. And I just did like a, not even a full cap full. Some black pepper. Just a little teeny bit, that's too much for me actually. Y'all know, or you should know by now, I don't really like black pepper, but I'm cooking this for my family, so I have to be um think about them, you know. They like black pepper. So we're gonna add a little sprinkle sprinkle of turmeric. Then our cheese. Who doesn't like cheesy eggs, right? And I'm just gonna put a lot of cheese, okay? <laughs> I was about to say a little cheese. No, I like a lot of cheese in my eggs. When I do eat eggs, I don't really eat eggs like that because I'm not an egg fan. I'm not a breakfast fan, so y'all know this stuff. All right, so <laughs> let's just whisk that together. All right, so let's check on our French toast. And it looks like they're ready to be turned over. And I'm gonna bring y'all in the pan once I do that. Let me add some more butter so the pan won't get dry. And you can totally not use butter, you can use um, olive oil, um, coconut oil, any type of oil that you want. Um, seeing people do it with all different types of oil um, or spray. But I like butter, it tastes better. All right, so let me bring y'all inside the pan. And look at how pretty they look. They look so pretty. So we're gonna let those cook for a few more minutes. Okay, so um, I added some more cinnamon to this one because I wanted more cinnamon on mine. And um, they're about ready to take out. Okay, you guys, so the French toasts are ready to come out. They smell amazing. They smell amazing. So I'm gonna make up the rest of these and plate them up really nicely and let you guys see how they look all plated up. Okay, so to get started to cook our eggs, we're gonna go ahead and put them for medium heat. And you know eggs don't take long to cook. I just spray my pan with some Pam this time instead of butter just to not use all my butter. And these are gonna be some fluffy eggs because the secret to fluffy eggs, let me bring y'all inside. The secret to fluffy eggs is to whip them. You know, you gotta whip the air into the eggs and also um, adding milk. Even if you don't have milk, add a little bit of water, but by adding that, it um, makes your eggs fluffy. And that is a secret, well, two secrets to fluffy eggs. So they're looking good and cheesy. 
just how I like them. Okay, guys, look at that. Nice fluffy eggs. Y'all see that? Look at that. Nice fluffy eggs. So we're gonna take them out and get everything plated. All right guys, so this is our finished plate, our fluffy cheesy eggs in our cinnamon French toast. And I just added some bacon and some fruit. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe and hit the thumbs up. Make sure that you leave a comment below. Let me know what your favorite breakfast item is. And also make sure you follow me on Facebook, Instagram, I will leave that info down below. Again, thank you guys so much for watching and you have a great and blessed day.